Uganda has had a turbulent past. Since independence, almost every part of the country has known conflict and war due to political disagreements. Women were major victims of torture and human rights abuses with their sexuality targeted, especially through rape, maiming, mutilation and abductions. The consequences of the over 20 years Lord Resistance Army Rebellion are still visible. Anna Grace Nakasi was 28 years old when the insurgency struck her home in Soroti District, Eastern Uganda, in 1987. A mother of nine children at the time, Nakasi and her family had to move from the village to Soroti town for refuge. It was at this time that Nakasi got her first experience of gang rape. I was raped. There were six men. The next lot were nine men on my body. These incidents affected her mentally. She was later admitted to a mental hospital. Her health, however, deteriorated further, and in 2002, Nakasi tested HIV positive. This was the beginning of her isolation by her family and community. After testing HIV positive, I was isolated by my family and the community. I was refused access to my children, lest I infect them. Everyone feared I would infect them. At the public borehole, everyone avoided me. After fetching water, they would clean the borehole handle because I touched it. They even watched the ground where I stood. Nakasi was thrown out of her marital home by the enraged husband. My husband also rejected me and even called me a dog. You have infected me with your sickness. For two years, I lived in this anthill. This is where Tawupa picked me. Rejected by the community, Nakasi, together with other affected women, formed Ochuna Ogolai Post-Test Club. Group dynamics was the best way to survive. Achuna Ogolai. Three of us started Achuna Ogolai. The number grew to 10, then 50. When the number reached 320, we formed subgroups in the whole sub-county. Our activities are music, dance and drama, counseling and home visitation. Isis Wiki started supporting the group from here. I knew about the existence of ISIS Wiki through Tewupa, which was concerned about my plight. She has since become a symbol of transformation, taking the lead in the project on the intersection between HIV AIDS, conflict and gender-based violence of ISIS Wiki and Urgent Action Fund Africa. ISIS Wiki, we are called Denz and Nakasi. ISIS Wiki has helped us. We now have cows. We have been empowered to speak about our rights as women affected by HIV AIDS. When ISIS Wiki met Nakasi and saw her leadership potential, they decided to give her exposure. This enhanced her capacity to lead others. She participated in the CSW in New York and the recently concluded African Union Summit in Kampala. Since then, Nakasi has continued to fight for her rights and the rights of others. I was empowered to speak on rights of women. I want to see that HIV-positive women are helped. Regarding cases of children I found defiled, I pressured police to imprison the culprits. The culprits are now in prison. In hospitals, I have urged administrators to ensure special care for pregnant women who are HIV positive. Even the family that had in the past rejected her started recognizing her potential. I have just given her to go food, just to go and preach. I don't say that, no, you don't go, no. 
because I know she's helping the whole Teso. To say she's not an evangelist of HIV AIDS. She goes and preaches to get her people, those ones who are trying to hide out. That's her work. She's a specialist on that now. By forgiving, she has found peace and healing. Nakasi and her husband now live as a discordant couple. I told my husband, I have forgiven you. You cannot be a peace animator if you cannot forgive others. Due to her exemplary leadership, Nakasi was recently elected by her community to be the flag bearer of her party in the forthcoming local elections. I have got a lot of support because of what I have already done. During the campaign, I emphasized I was an HIV positive person who wants security for everyone, unity and rights for all. At 51 years now, Nakasi is no longer fearful of death. Her current focus is to get support and lead her community into the future. We need transport so that sick women can easily access treatment. We need a center house where we can meet and plan for the future. There is need for a vocational school for vulnerable children to provide a good foundation for their future.